make no mistake, this is a rain event more than it is a snow event. Sure. It gets out of here, and then next week, now you're back to temperatures <laughs> in the 30s. Back to normal. Uh, normal is about 37, yeah. so you'll probably be at below normal by the time you get to, to the beginning of next week. I know, kids, there's, there's a lot of this going on. <laughs> we'll check the numbers later. It'll all try. make sense. I'm trying, okay, Thank okay. you, honey. It's all Thanks, good. Honey, I okay. think. Yeah. Yeah. In the latest episode of our web feature, The Dig, CBS 2's Elle McLogan explores a topic that might just make you hungry. Uh, an art, a technique mm -hmm. to this. I yes. just go and eat it. No, no fuzzy. Okay. A reporter in England finds himself in an unusual predicament while trying to do a zoo story. A lemur interrupted BBC reporter Alex Dunlop during his report, and then another, and then another. Before he knew it, it was covering lemurs who started nipping at him and trying to get their 15 seconds of fame, so to speak. And when you're covered in lemurs, it's just... <laughs> All right, Ow. the live shots that go wrong at the zoo, mm. we, we know them. Up next, your TV could be changing. Screens that roll up like paper or give a glimpse. Coming up tonight at 11, a desperate search for an important donation leads to Disney World. Well, most families go without a new crop of impressive televisions. They're getting smarter. Some even have built-in virtual assistants. See, Ms. Two's Jessica Layton reports. I didn't know that I'd want to see inside my refrigerator while I'm sitting in my well, house. You know, you have to multitask. Yeah. 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 Uh, what will they think of next? That's savage. Uh, that's it for the news at five. We'll see you again at eleven. Dana Tyler here now with the news at six. With breaking news, two breaking news stories in Manhattan. Combative and unpopular governor looks back at his eight years in office. And a New York Assemblywoman from Brooklyn tonight accused of stealing Superstorm Sandy relief funds meant for her constituents who suffered damage during the storm. And good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill. We'll have more of those stories in a moment. But first, breaking news in Manhattan, all because of the above freezing temperatures. Yeah, a large chunk of ice fell off of a building in Soho this afternoon. A other top story, an assemblywoman Pamela Harris tonight accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars in federal and New York City funds. Money that was meant for people victimized by Superstorm Sandy. Prosecutor.